The transfer market is on the move. United have spent big, Arsenal have shored up their defence and there is loads more money for all of those participating in next season's European competitions. That and much more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host Matt Froelich, you are the One Footballers, and this is the Daily News. Firstly, we head to Old Trafford where Jose Mourinho looks certain to get his team sorted before the World Cup. This is usually to stop any of his potential transfer targets having a decent time at the tournament and then finding out that their price has been doubled. Yesterday, United agreed to deal with Shakhtar for Brazilian midfielder Fred for around 52 million. He'll join up with Mourinho after the World Cup and try to live up to the glorious names who have graced the Old Trafford turf, such as Rodrigo Possebon, Cleberson, and who can forget the Da Silva twins. And on the defensive side of things, Jose Mourinho has raided former club Porto for 19-year-old defender Diego Dalot, who should join up this summer as well. As for your Manchester United transfer news, that's the lot. And sticking with the transfer market, life at the Emirates post Arsene Wenger is getting off to a good start. Yesterday, Stefan Licksteiner was bought in from Juventus, the experienced defender the first signing under Unai Emery, who is expected to also announce today that Dortmund defender Socrates Papastathopoulos will be joining. But amongst these signings, it's one potential transfer rumour that has really put the cat amongst the pigeons. It'll either lead to a breaking of social media and the internet, or to a sudden uprise in the amount of wigs being purchased in North London. But anyway, it's Marouan Fellaini. Rumours that he could join Arsenal on a free transfer come the 1st of July have been met with some scepticism and also a few laughs. So what do you think, Arsenal fans? Would he be a good signing or a bad signing? Is there any truth to the rumour or is it just more fake news? In other unsurprising news, football clubs are getting richer. Yes, alongside all the money made from transfers, from sponsorship, from TV, from private investment, European clubs will be able to get their hands on a share of the £2.8 billion prize money offered to all of those teams in European competition next season. There is millions on offer, whether you get a draw or a win in the group stage, whether you win the group, advancing to the knockout rounds and even winning the competition. There's enough money that could keep these crazy transfer windows more unpredictable than Kanye West's Twitter feed. And finally, with eight days to the World Cup, eight is the number of nations that have won the World Cup in the 20 times that it's been played. Of those eight previous winners, only one of them misses out, as Italy won't be participating this summer, only 12 years on from beating France to lift the coveted gold trophy. That's all from me for now. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments down below for a chance to have them featured on tomorrow's episode, just like these will be. Until then, I'll see you soon. All this gold on Patron, I'm on Coco Patron Only 10 in the morning, I might fuck around and drink all of this shit Smoking those on them with codeine inside of my switch Should have compliment all of my hits EBG waking up early in the morning I push off the whip and get on with this shit Shit that I wake out, that bitch is upset And that's what we gon' fuck around all of my hits Ball with the wall off the wall till I fall off a million One million, we all getting rich